not even started the vlog yet today because I was totally expecting to go on a trip. I think last night when I talked to you, I told you I was at number one for like a four leg turn. For whatever reason, crew scheduling hasn't called me and I'm praying they don't because it is 2.30 in the afternoon now. So I feel like hopefully I'm in the clear with that. I just hopped on the train, came down into downtown and I'm going to the Chris Kindle Market here in Chicago. This is something that I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do this since we transferred to Chicago, but it's something I've never done before in my life. I've heard it's a really cool experience. It's really nice. It's really cold outside right now though. I try to dress my best. I'm, it's not, this man is screaming. But it's not freezing, but it's cold for me. So I have a sweater with my vest and then a scarf. Hopefully I'll stay warm. I really don't know what to expect. I've seen some people on Instagram and TikTok and stuff come down here, but I really don't know like the full gist of the Chris Kendall market. So I'm excited to take you guys along. Like I said, hopefully crew scheduling does not call me because then I'll have to book it back to my apartment and get ready for work. All right, let's do this thing. This is really cute. $219 though. I feel like they transported me back to my Frankfurt layover. It is so cold outside, so it feels so good to step in this tent for a minute and look around. They have a ton of cute stuff in here. So we have two trees in Florida. One is our nice tree, and then one I put like a bunch of like totally random ornaments. I have like a KFC ornament on it, like a ton of just random stuff. So I'd love to find like a fun or like funky ornament to put on that tree. But these are like nice ornaments, so I may not have luck with that. I found the candy store. This is where I'm gonna get in trouble because I already see stuff that I like in there. Literally me being a kid in the candy store. I still have these in my freezer from when I went to Frankfurt. So right behind me they have a gnome store. I don't remember if I said this in a vlog, I feel like I did at some point within the last like six months or so that I wanna do gnomes next year for Christmas. I think I'm at the gnome stage of decorating. So I'm gonna go check out and see what they have for next year. I just know these pierogies are gonna be so good. But I guess we'll never know because they're cash only and the ATM is broken. I don't have cash. Oh, they have all the different countries here. That's pretty cool. The bean. Maybe this bell pepper will complement my KFC ornament. Or maybe this fried egg sushi ornament. Why is this cute though? I like this. Since I just did the German Christmas market, I'm gonna pop into Primark because Primark is somewhere I go every time I'm in London. And I'm just feeling very like European layover vibes today. I am back in my apartment now. The Chris Kendall Market was amazing. It was so much fun. It was really cool though. I am totally frozen. I was talking to John on the phone and I felt like I couldn't even move my jaw. I was that cold, but it was fun. I would definitely recommend doing it if you're here in the Chicago area or if you come to visit. Definitely a must do at Christmas time. But real quick, I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys about something and just say thank you. Real quick before we talk though, I made some Christmas cookies today or decorated some Christmas cookies today. And I wanna show you them. Do y'all notice? 
notice anything different about my Christmas cookies this year? So last night, I hit a pretty big milestone here on my YouTube channel. I was uploading an episode of Vlogmas and I got a notification on the little creator tab that said, congratulations on hitting 1 million views on my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much. None of this would be possible without any of you. Never in my wildest dreams when I started my YouTube channel did I think there would be 1 million of you that would sit down and watch my daily life. I am not like a crazy influencer that lives in LA and does all these extravagant things and like luxury hauls. I am just your average <laughs> everyday flight attendant and it means a lot to me that 1 million of you guys have came along and watched my life on here. You have no idea how much this means to me. I just... <sighs> I'm honestly at like a loss for words in the best way. I posted something on Instagram today thanking you and it just took me forever because I didn't know what to say. There are so many things I could say. We've had so many experiences together here on this channel. The only thing I can really say is thank you because you have no idea how much this means to me. Sharing my life with all of you has been the greatest privilege I could have ever asked for and I look forward to doing it for the years to come and I hope you guys are excited about the future of this channel because there's a lot more fun stuff and a lot more adventures coming and I'm glad you all are here to enjoy them with me and again thank you thank you thank you this is incredible i'm gonna do a task now that i've been meaning to do this entire week that i've been in chicago and i've just been avoiding it and i'm gonna show you something a little embarrassing our closet is kind of a mess let me show you <laughs> there's literally just clothes all over the shelf and we just like pull things out and it just gets so messed up and I just haven't went through to clean it because I'm like we're moving and I'm just gonna take it all down anyway this week so I'm gonna start going through this and packing a big check bag to take to Tampa tomorrow so that's my agenda tonight I'm gonna take the early morning flight to Tampa tomorrow I think it departs at 7 I need to go to O'Hare and check a bag and everything so I'm gonna have to get up so early Tomorrow will be a very early episode of Vlogmas. I'm literally wearing a coat inside right now because it's so cold, but I don't want to turn the heat on because I'm leaving in like a couple hours and it's going to get so hot in here. And I feel like once I start like moving stuff around, it's going to like get warm and I'll probably end up taking this jacket off, but I don't want to turn the heat on and then be like sweating. We're just going to enjoy the cold for a minute. I mean, it's really not that cold. <laughs> I'm not freezing guys. Let's get started. All right. I just finished packing and this bag is totally stuffed and I can't even imagine how much it weighs because I even had trouble lifting it. Thankfully as an employee, I think I get 75 pounds weight. Hopefully that weighs less than 75 pounds. We're gonna cross our fingers. Pretty much all I left was winter jackets, coats, or sweaters, and uniforms. <laughs> and that's about it. Tons of hangers. A scarf, another sweatshirt and scarf. More uniform. One sweater over here. And oh my gosh, the hangers are falling down. And I got a couple pairs of shoes that I need to take. I'll probably take those next week, I suppose. I do have another checked bag over here, but I cannot take two tomorrow. I could take two bags. The only problem is I'm getting on the employee shuttle and the drivers are there are not so nice. So I don't think they want me to bring two check bags on the shuttle. Even taking one bag on the employee shuttle can be a little bit iffy in Tampa. Anywhere else I think would have been fine. I'm not gonna press my luck. I'm just gonna take one big check bag. I'm not even gonna take my flight attendant luggage because I don't know how I'm gonna get on the shuttle. It's too many bags. I'm gonna bring the checked bag back with me when I come back to Chicago and put the rest of the stuff in there and hopefully clear out this apartment. I'm Watching Carlos. Lauren's movie. I'm vlog while I pack. All right. Dresser is completely cleaned out. If you or anyone you know lives in Chicago and wants this little dresser from Amazon, fair warning, it's not a good quality dresser. I mean, it's good. It's just nothing like fancy. This is literally like a fabric drawer. This was like $20 on Amazon, but you're more than welcome to have it for free if you want it. If you're from Chicago, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna find somewhere to donate it to. They don't really wanna sell it. I paid like 20 bucks for it on Amazon. We also have this little plastic three drawer thing. If anyone's interested, you can have it for free as as well. This bag is so heavy and I have to lug it down three flights of steps in the morning. Not really sure how that's gonna go. That's fun. But it made a pretty good dent in getting stuff cleaned out. I just took like three bags of stuff down to the garbage. Three like shopping bags, not like full garbage bag. Three little shopping bags of stuff just to get rid of like clutter and stuff that we don't need. Packed up this huge suitcase full of clothes. I would say 75% of our clothes that we had here are in this bag. Those will all go back to Tampa with me in the morning and then the rest I will clear out over the next two weeks. I cannot believe that we have had this apartment for one year. I'm just gonna move some stuff around, clean up the clutter, go do some dishes, and then hang out. I have to be at the airport at like 4.30. 30 tomorrow, so I'm gonna leave here by like 3.30, which is in just a few hours. So I probably won't even end up going to bed tonight. I'll probably, if anything, sleep for like one or two hours and then head to Tampa. I'm dreading taking this giant bag on the employee shuttle because I have to lug it like all the way up the steps and then lift it into the luggage rack.
All right, dish is done. House is somewhat clean. I have some stuff over there I need to put away still, but for the most part, everything is put away and cleaned. I am gonna just hang out now for the rest of the night and relax because it is already 8.08 p.m. And like I said, I have to be up around three. It's gonna be a very short night. I'm gonna wrap up today's episode of Vlogmas. Again, thank you guys so, so, so much for one million views here on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed coming with me to the Chris Kendall Market in Chicago today. Make sure you are subscribed and you like this video. You guys just liking this video helps me my channel in this video so much more than you even know please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below i always respond to your comments good bad ugly whatever they are i'm a little behind right now because of vlogmas and i'm getting a lot more comments than i typically would because i'm posting every day but i promise i'll get back to you eventually share this video with a friend maybe someone who wants to go to the chris kendall market in chicago and i will see you guys tomorrow for another day of vlogmas